You know, when the great Bob Eufer relinquished his hold on the play-by-play -play of Michigan football 30 years ago on radio, a young guy named Frank Beckman took over. Well, Frank is still there, and Michigan's radio persona has never skipped a beat. And fortunately for all of us, Frank intends to stick around for a while on this labor of love. The journey, I hope, is only about halfway done. And I'd like to continue to do it another 30 years, to be honest with you. I just, I look forward to being in this stadium, in this seat, so much every week. I can't even describe it. Denard's going to run it to the left. Look out, he doesn't have any room. But he makes a move and cuts inside to the 40. Now he goes to the right. 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Denard Robinson does it again. Sheer wizardry, my friends. Best game is going to be the triple overtime win over Michigan State, where Braylon Edwards, and this may be the single best single game performance that I've ever broadcast. Uh, Denard Robinson, no offense. He's going deep, right side. Oh, that is Edwards out there. He goes up in the air at the goal line, and he's got it for a touchdown. He took it away from Jaron Hayes. Braylon Edwards taking over that Michigan State game when, when we were 17 down with eight minutes to go and wound up winning the ball game because he just said, throw me the ball. Lofting it right corner of the end zone for Braylon up in the air. Touchdown, Michigan! Do you believe this comeback? And they threw it to him, and he kept grabbing it and jumping over those MSU defenders and making one big play after another for touchdown. That was the greatest performance I've seen. And he's firing on a post cut. Edwards has it. 10, 5, touchdown. Hands down, best year of 1997. The undefeated team and winning the national championship, winning the Rose Bowl that year against Ryan Leaf in Washington State. Hands down, 97, best year. Greasy bootleg right, firing deep for Tooman. Touchdown, Michigan! The play action fake. Best player overall, I've got to go with Charles Woodson because he could play both sides of the ball. Teams had to adjust their offenses to stay away from him. Now has Fazell in his face, throws, and Woodson made a spectacular interception and somehow landed with a foot in bounds. He did everything he did so very well. So I've got it in a close vote over, I mean, you got Desmond Howard, Anthony Carter, Chad Henney, Tom Brady, Bob, Gre uh, Brian Greasy, uh, so many great players, John Jansen and uh, um, uh, Jake Long. I don't want to leave anybody out. It's, you start naming them, but I've got to go with Woodson as my number one. So Charles gets Frank's nod as the best player over his years at the mic. Maybe the most infamous call of those years has taken on a life of its own. It was Frank and yours truly getting silly during a Michigan blowout win over Northwestern. See, it was 1984. Tigers won the World Series. And I'm in my regular job during the week, I'm covering the Tigers in the playoffs and then the World Series. I'm traveling all over the country with them and doing all of that and trying to get ready to do Michigan football and come to Saturday's game against Northwestern. And I'm just worn out. I'm running on empty. I'm on fumes. Back goes Greenfield. He's looking, getting a rush from behind, and he's going to be sacked by Rodgers and by Hammerstein. And what else would you expect? That melodious tune strung out by the two Michigan linemen, Rodgers and Hammerstein, on the sack. <laughs> so the next thing I know, my good friend Jim Brandstatter has got to jump in and start playing stand-up comic with me. Too bad we're not playing Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> How could you do that to me? <laughs> I just, I lost it. It was, it was hilarious. <laughs> Compose ourselves. <laughs> the best call, hands down, was Woodson's end zone interception against Ohio State. Now comes back, fires in the end zone, intercepted by Charles Woodson. Polish off the Heisman. They threw it on the battle. Charles Woodson took it away. You get caught up in the moment, and it was like, you, you know the guy is, is vying for a Heisman Trophy, and he's just made this play that you think is going to win him the Heisman, and you can't help yourself. And that was the best call. Clear off the mantle and polish up the trophy, baby. And then he cemented it later that game with a punt return. And there he goes! Charles Woodson down the sideline! He's going to go all the way! Touchdown, Michigan! We've said it so many times in the booth. When it comes to a fall Saturday afternoon, 
where would you rather be? And there is no place I would rather be than sitting next to my buddy Jim Brandstetter at a Michigan football game and describing what we're seeing down on that field below with these kids who are so committed to that winged helmet, the maize and blue, and it's just an absolute honor to have been a part of it this long and to continue to be a part of it.